A security camera captures the moment a 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck Morocco as a man runs for his life through rubble. It was a common scene last Friday as the quake shook parts of this North African nation. Morocco's public broadcaster, SNRT, released images of cars crushed by rubble highlighting the challenges facing rescue workers. Much of the quake's damage was in mountainous regions where villagers had already begun burying their dead as of Saturday. And as Moroccans and tourists visiting their country took part in blood drives at area clinics, Morocco's King Mohammed VI ordered the nation's armed forces to mobilize search and rescue teams. He also called for special prayer services Sunday at mosques. Many Moroccans have been sleeping in the streets for fear of aftershocks destroying their already damaged homes. The United States and others have offered support to the government and people of Morocco. We reached out immediately uh, to the Moroccan government, uh, made very clear to them that um, we are prepared to assist in any way that we can. Uh, we have the U.S. Agency for International Development, which uh, takes the lead in our efforts uh, mobilizing, uh, and we're waiting to hear from the Moroccan government how we can be of most assistance. But we're tracking this very carefully, and our hearts go out to uh, the people of Morocco who suffered this devastating earthquake, and we stand ready to help in any way that we can. For those living through the disaster, their government's efforts have not gone unnoticed. Authorities are doing their best, and uh, even like in the high Atlas Mountains where people lost their lives and where that earthquake hit harder, they're trying to help. And I'm very sure that our people, our Moroccan people and our Moroccan community can get together and we can go through this. Morocco has not seen this powerful an earthquake since 2004 when a magnitude 6.3 quake killed more than 550 people in one of the country's poorer regions. Morocco's worst earthquake in modern times happened in 1960. It destroyed most of the popular tourist destination of Agadir and killed at least 12,000 people. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News. Another 15,000 refugees are in camps outside the city, which was sealed off to let rescue workers